各位同学，大家好，欢迎再次收看《英文文法与修辞》。我们这个周要谈的是第十四讲次 （Non Clauses） 名词子句。啊，我们很高兴 Steven 老师再次的能够来到我们的现场。Hello, welcome back. 啊，我们的这一周单元目标是帮学生理解英文子句它如何分类，还有它的功能。那我们当然希望能帮同学了解说构成英文名词子句用法错误的原因有哪一些。我们知道说子句它原则上是说有主词跟动词，然后从独立性来看，能够表达完整的意思，我们就称独立子句；反之，那假如不能够表达完整意思，我们就称它从属子句。啊，从功能来看呢，子句可分成名词子句、形容词子句，还有副词子句。那这三种子句哈，因为范围太广，所以我们这个讲次只讨论名词子句的功能和用法如下。第一个就是说名词子句，把它当成主词。接下来，名词子句可以当做动词的受词，或者是介系词的受词。那另外就是我们也谈过，一再强调。名词它可以当做补语，所以名词子句当然也可以当做补语。好，我们下面要请 Steven 老师帮我们朗读课文。A clause has a subject and a verb. An independent clause is a group of words containing a subject and a verb and expressing a complete thought. Some groups of words that contain a subject and a verb, however, Do not express a complete thought and are considered a dependent clause. Some independent clauses can stand alone as a sentence. Sometimes, two or more independent clauses are combined into one sentence without a connecting word. Then a semicolon is used to connect them. In this lecture. We will focus on the discussion of noun clauses. The following are some examples: the noun clause as the subject of a verb. What the magazine wrote about me is untrue. Noun clauses have the same function as nouns, therefore, here the what clause is the subject of the verb is. A noun clause as the object of a verb. The students in Mr. King's math class often complain that he gives them too many assignments. A noun clause is a subject of the object of the verb complain. A noun clause as the object of a preposition. Teachers should be mindful of what they do and say. A noun clause as the object of the preposition of. A、noun clauses and complements. A complement completes the meaning of a phrase or part of a sentence. Mike's problem is that he is too lazy to work hard. A、noun clause can be a subject complement. We are disappointed that Monica didn't come to the party. A、noun clause can be an adjective complement. We can easily join two independent sentences by changing one into a noun clause. The following are some examples: I am happy. He won first prize. I am happy that he won first prize. Please let me know. What kind of food do you like? Please let me know what kind of food you like. We have to delete do when including a wh question in a statement. I don't understand. Why did she quit school suddenly? I don't understand why she quit school suddenly. Please note did has been omitted. I don't know. What? Time is it? I don't know what time it is. Please note 
the word order has to be changed when we include a WH question with the verb be in a statement. I have no idea. Are they honest? I have no idea if they are honest or not. Introduce a yes no question with if or whether. You can add or not at the end of the sentence. Noun clause as reported speech. She said, I hate you. That's an exact quote. She said that she hated me. That's reported speech. The pronoun I should be cho changed to she and the symbol present tense to symbol past. Mr. Smith said, I saw this person yesterday. Mr. Smith said that he had seen that person the day before. A simple past should be changed to past perfect tense, and the adverb yesterday should be changed to the day before. 好，谢谢 Steven 老师。那我们休息一下，待会我来为同学讲解课文内容。好，我们来看课文。A class has a subject and a verb. 所谓的子句，它要有一个主词和一个动词。An independent class. 那一个独立子句，我们看这个字哈。Dependent, depend 是一个动词，加上 e n t 就变成一个形容词，然后前面再加上一个 in。本来 depend 是依赖。那前面加上一个 i n 就是否定，不依赖，也就是独立的子句。那一个独立的子句，它是 a group of words， 一群一组的字 ，containing a subject， 包含了一个主词 and a verb， 然后还有一个动词 and， 然后呢，它也同时是 expressing 表达 a complete thought， 完整的一个思想。Some group。Groups of words that contain a subject and a verb. 有一些字组，它包含主词，也包含动词。However, 然而呢 ，do not express a complete thought. 可是它没有表达一个完整的意思。And are considered. Consider 就是说，我们本来讲说视为考虑，这边就把它当做当成。是一个 dependent clause， 当成一个附属子句，依赖子句就是我们通常我们马上讲附属子句。Some independent clauses 有一些独立子句 can stand alone， 就是单独的存在 as a sentence， 当成一个句子。Sometimes 有的时候 two or more independent clauses， 两个或更多的独立子句 are combined。它结合 into 成为什么呢？一个句子，两三个独立子句结合成一个句子 ，without a connecting word， 没有一个连接字。那这时候的 then， 那这时候 semicolon，semicolon 的话，我们讲说分号。那这时候没有连接字的话，我们就要用一个分号，一个标点符号 is used， 一个分号就来运用。Use 就是运用时，运用做什么呢 ？Connect them， 来连接它。因为既然没有 connecting words， 没有连接字，我们就只好用标点符号来连接，用一个分号。In this lecture， 我们这个讲次 ，we will focus。Focus 本来是我们讲说名词当焦点，动词就是在这边当聚焦。我们这个课文，我们的焦点哈，我们要聚焦在什么呢？是 Discussion, 讨论 non clauses, 名词子句，因为子句好多种，讨论不完。这一讲次我们只讨论，专门是讨论名词子句。那以下我们来举一些例子。第一个名词子句，我们 non clause as the subject of the verb， 当做
动词的主词，动词前面要有主词，后面要有受词，这是动词它在文法上的一个功能哈。我们来看这个 What the magazine wrote about me， 啊，这个杂志对我的报道 is untrue。True 本来这个字是正确的 ，untrue 就是不正确、不真实的，哈，就是假的了。就是这个八卦杂志对我的报道都是瞎掰的意思。Noun clause 名词短句 have the same function as nouns， 就等同是一个名词的单字。What 这个字，哈，啊，我们这个 what clause is the subject of the verb is。我们在这个上面的这个句子里面，我们可以看到，动词是 is untrue， 什么东西是 is untrue？ 那前面就需要有一个主词名词。那整个我们有 underline 划线，就是 what the magazine wrote about me 这个名词子句就当做呃 is 前面的主词。我们再看 noun clause as the object of a verb。好，名词短句当做动词的受词。我们知道说动词在那边的话，它就变成说前面一定要有一个主词，后面要有个受词。我们刚刚谈了动词前面的主词，现在谈动词后面的受词。The student in Mr. King's math class， 学生在金先生数学课上课的学生 ，often complain。complain 的话就是。抱怨、控诉，哈，通常就是学生抱怨。学生抱怨什么呢？啊、uh, ，that he give he gives them too many assignments. Assignments assign 本来是分配，那这边加上 m e n t 就从动词变成名词，本来是分配工作、任务、作业，哈，动词是这样。那名词化就变成说我们，呃。课堂上的作业、功课，老师交代的功课，哈。那学生金先生，数学课学生通常抱怨他功课太多。Noun clause is the object of the verb complain。所以我们这边划线的红线的这个就是指说，呃 ，complain 是动词，抱怨什么呢？后面有个受词，抱怨他就是金先金老师哈，给学生太多的作业。那第三个 noun clause。As the object of a preposition, 名词当做介系词后面的受词。我们看 ，teacher should be mindful of， 老师应该要注意。这个片语同学可以画下来。Be mindful of， 一定要用这个介系词哈。Be mindful of， 要留心注意什么呢 ？What they do and say， 就是。They do 就是老师的行为，做什么事情？行为 say 的话就是言语，就言行。老师通常要留意自己的言行。那 noun clause is the object。object 本来是一个物品、物件，那这边文法上就当做受词。这名词短句当做 object 受词，什么的受词呢？是 preposition， 介系词 of 的受词。好，接下来我们看。Noun clause as complements, 名词短句当做补语。那下面就补语的定义。所谓的补语 ，a complements complete the meaning of the phrase of the part of a sentence。那这个所谓的 complement， 它完成 complete， 有时候当形容词完整的，这边当做是完成。完成什么呢？完成的意思 ，phrase 就是片语的意思，或者。嗯，动词呃，或者 sentence 这个句子部分的意义，这就是名词短句的功能。我们来看例句 ，Mike's problem。Mike 他的问题是，那这个主词 Mike's problem 是什么呢？不清楚，后面要加一个补语，补足他的意思是 that he's too lazy， 他太懒，然后 to work hard， 呃。不想努力工作，记住这个 to to t o o t o 太怎么样而不想而不怎么样，他太懒而不努力工作。那这边的话 ，a noun clause can be a subject of subject complement， 所以这边的话，名词短句当做主词的补语。我们下面看是 we are disappointed， 
，我们觉得很失望 ，disappoint 是沮丧、失望的。那 disappoint 本来是一个动词，加上 ed 的话，就是过去分词当做形容词，我们感到很沮丧、失望。沮丧、失望什么呢？语义不完整，所以后面要加一个 complement 补语，补充说明它的意思。我们觉得很失望。那 Monica didn't come to the party。莫妮卡她没有来参加派对。那这边的话 ，a noun clause can be an adjective complement。这边的话，啊，名词子句是当成形容词的补语。We are disappointed. 我们很失望，很沮丧的。我们是失望、沮丧的。这形容词意思不完整，后面要有一个补语。为什么失望、沮丧呢？莫妮卡没有来参加派对。好，我们接下来要看说 ，We can easily join two independent sentences. 我们可以很容易把两个 join 是结合，结合两个独立的句子。By 是用什么方法？用 by changing one. To a noun clause, 把其中的一个改成名词，子句，把独立句子改成子句就可以哈。我们举一些例子来看。第一个 ，I'm happy， 我很快乐。那 ，He won first prize， 这是两个独立句子。那要怎么把它 combine 结合，变成一个句子呢？我们就会说 I'm happy， 后面加上 that。I'm happy that he won first prize. 他赢得首奖哈。好，那再过来 ，Please let me know. 请告诉我。Please let me know. 告诉我。那另外一个独立句子 ，What kind of food do you like? 你喜欢哪一种食物？这本来是两个独立句子，结合成一个句子的话，变成 Please let me know what kind of food you like. 那这边我们要提醒同学，就是说 ，We have to delete. Do 我们要把那个 do 这个字哈 ，What kind of food do you like? Do 要把它 delete 删去。When including 当我们 include 包括我们包含一个 W H question 在一个 statement 在一个叙述句里面的时候，我们就要把原来那个 W H question 哈里面的 do 省略掉，这样就变成一个子句。好，我们看接下来看。I don't understand. 我不了解。这是一个句子。I don't understand. 然后第二个句子。Why did she quit school suddenly? 她为什么突然休学，离开学校？那这个要怎么把它合成一个句子呢？我们就写说 ，I don't understand why she quit school suddenly. 那我们要提起同学 ，please know， 请注意 ，did 这个字 has to be omitted， 我们要把它消除。就是 why did she quit school suddenly？ 这本来是一个问句，可是把它变成一个子句的时候，那个 did has to be omitted。omit 就是删除、消除哈。好，我们再看下面的例子。I don't know。我不知道 ，What time is it？ 什么时候了？现在是几点 ？What time is it？ 现在几点？让这两个句子合并成一个 I don't know what time it is。那这边要请同学注意 ，Please know， 请注意 the word order 字的顺序必须 has to be changed， 要必须更改。When we include the wh question with verb be in a statement。所以，假如这个 W H question 的话，它把它我们包含在一个有 be 动词的一个叙述句，意思就是说 What time is it？ 这原来是一个问句，可是你要把它变成叙述句的话，记住那个 word order 顺序，本来是 Is it？ 这是一个问句，把它变成子句的话是 What time it is？ Is it？ 颠倒过来 ，It is。好。那我们要休息一下，接呃，待会我再为同学继续讲解。Mm-hmm. 好，我们接下来看例句一。I have no idea. 我不知道。Are they honest? 他们诚实吗
。那把这两个句子合成一个句子 ，I have no idea if they're honest or not。我不知道。他们是否诚实？我们这边要请同学注意是 introduce a yes no question。当我们介绍或引进一个是否是非的一个句子话，是否诚实，是不是？这时候 yes no question 的话，我们可以用 with 或者是 or whether。那我们这时候也可以加上 if or whether they are honest。Or not, 把这个 or not 加在句尾 at the same end of the sentence 哈。那你不加也可以，不过加也是可以的哈。好，我们再接着看 non clause as reported speech 名词子句当做引述句。我们看例子 ，She said， 她说 ，I hate you， 我恨你。那这个 exact quote 就是说，这是直接的引述，引述他说的话。他说：“他说 ，I hate you， 我恨你。”那我们再看另外一个例句 ：She said that she hated me。他说他恨我。这时候话就是 reported speech， 间接的一个引述句子。那我们要请请同学注意，就是 the pronoun I， 在这个句子里面的 I。直接引述句里面 ，I hate you should be changed， 要把它改成 she， 然后 end the simple present tense to simple past， 改成间接句的时候 ，I 要变成 she， 然后现在的简单式要改成过去简单式 simple past。好，我们再看一个例子 ，Mr. Smith said。史密斯先生说 ：“I saw this person yesterday。”我昨天看到这个人。那我们怎么样把它改成另外一个句子呢 ？Mr. Smith said that he had seen that person the day before。我们这边要提醒同学是说 ：“Simple past， 过去简单式 should be changed， 要改成什么呢 ？Past perfect tense。”过去完成式，然后这个副词的 adverb 副词是昨天，也要把它改成 the day before 前一天。好，这些就是请同学注意的。我们的名词子句哈，就讲解到这里。我们待会是我们的聊天室，要请 Steven 老师再带给我们一些关于名词子句的一些讯息，需要注意的地方。Okay, Stephen. That uh, uh, for non-classes, that uh, is there anything you want to remind our student to pay attention to? Well, a clause has a subject and a verb. If you've got a verb and a subject and whatever else the verb may require, <clears throat> grammatically, in terms of objects or whatever, you've got a clause. But not all clauses can function as sentences. There are complete clauses and complete sentences. <clears throat> An independent clause is one that can serve as a sentence all by itself. A dependent clause depends on another independent clause for part of its meaning. Can you give us some examples?、Um, for instance, we had an example a little bit earlier. The students in Mr. King's math class often complain that he gives them too many assignments. Now, that second clause, that he gives them too many assignments, that's actually a rather interesting example, because if you take away that word, that. What you're left with could be an independent clause by itself.、Mm -hmm. He gives them too many assignments,、mm -hmm. assuming you've established who he is and who、mm -hmm. they are.、Mm -hmm. But once you put that word "that" in,、mm -hmm. it can't 
be an independent clause any longer it has to be a dependent clause depending on something else in this case the students in the industry games math class complain da 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 好这边 Steven 老师就要提醒同学说我们这个所谓的子句对它有一个主持有一个动词然后后面文法上来说哈 有主持，有受词，有动词，有受词。那这时候我们就是一个子句，它是一个句子，它是一个子句。那有一些它不是完全的独立，这时候就叫做附属子句。那可是有的时候有一些句子是非常有趣的。那Steven老师特别挑出来